Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup. And today we're counting down, or I'm counting down, my top 10 uh, G.I. Joe classified figures of the year. Um, now, there were not even that many figures. There's probably about 15, I want to say, that were released. If you go by the number, I wish they didn't do doubles of like Cobra Commander and the SDCC version having their own separate numbers, but they did stuff like that. Um, same thing with the Roblox. But... Uh, what I'm doing is just counting down, down my top 10. Um, and literally the only one that did not make it this time was Roblox. I added some stuff to mine. I just wanted to show you. Um, he came with this. I added this thing from Fortnite to make it look a little bit better. And I took my extra... Um, darn it, I forget his name. I took his uh, backpack and put it on Roblox just to give him some flair. But I... There's something wrong. I think the vest is what threw me off the figure uh, the most. Uh, I just wish the figure was a little bit better, had better accessories. So now let's actually get into the top 10. Uh, starting with number 10 is this guy right here. Um, he was a hard one to get for a lot of people because he's one of those Target exclusives. This is Beachhead. So I have him at number 10. He would have been higher, um, but for whatever reason... Mine has huge issues balancing, even when he doesn't have a backpack on. The backpack actually helps. Let's get that down a little bit more. But I love the paint on this guy. Um, I love the way the, 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 the sweatshirt or the sweater looks, tactical sweater. Um, I just wish the guns weren't green. Um, that definitely detracted from him a bit. Um, he would have been much higher had they been black. Maybe I'll spray paint them eventually. Um, but he was a good figure. Um, that's why he's my number 10. At number nine is none other than Scarlet. Um, I do like this figure. Um, the face has grown, grown on me. Uh, I hope we get a more mature looking with Scarlet um, later on down the line, but I do like this figure. Um, I like the thighs especially, I don't know. I don't like the gap, but I like the, the thighs. It, it just, she's not so frail or skinny in my opinion, as some of the Marvel Legends. But she's a cool figure. She was number five in the line, I want to say. Yeah. And uh, she goes along great with uh, Snake Eyes. Some people actually threw on the uh, Black Widow head, but I don't feel that that's necessary. So, number nine. At number eight, we have Gung Ho. Um, on that Roblox mode, but something about... The chest being open out there like that just really kind of frees up some of that articulation as all of his weapons fall off. Um, I think this is a great figure. Um, the backpack really does kind of suck for holding weapons, but I like the mode of it. Mold, can't even talk. Um, so it, it's dope. I mean, I love the hat that they add in there as well, and it just keeps falling off because this thing does not hang on at all. But the head is nice. The fact you can take it off and it still looks good, and it fits and almost looks like it was supposed to be glued on there. Um, you can't really beat that. Um, he's a fun figure, and I liked him so much I bought two so I can customize one for Reaver. I have not um, done his head yet or point painted his vest um, or his chest yet, but I like that look for Reaver. So, yeah, number seven was Gung Ho. Let's continue. I'm sorry, number eight, number eight. For number seven, we have Cobra Commander. This might be a shock to some of you. Um, what it came down to for Cobra Commander was just the articulation and me being a fan of the hood, Cobra Commander more than the than the helmeted version. Um, I do like the colors on this Regal variant. I like that they kept the same number for the for this one here, unlike the SDC version. Um, and I never got that one. I, just, I wanted these two. I didn't want a third one. I just didn't see a need for it. So, um, yeah. But number seven, Cobra Commander. He's awesome. Lots of accessories. Looks very cool and regal. Just barely missing out on the top five. We have Duke. I love this figure. I think they did a bang up job on his face. Um, he looks great. Uh, let's get that box in here. Um, I just forgot to put that in there. But he looks great. Um, I like the artwork, even though it's kind of weird. It just kind of, it works. 
Um, I think this is a figure. I know they're re-releasing him with more muted colors. I don't think he needs it. I think he looks great as a commander. So there we go. Number uh, six, just missing the top five. We have Duke. Number five for me is probably going to be the biggest shock to everyone. Um, and honestly, this would easily have been my, well, not easily. This would have been my number one for sure. But there's a couple of things that held this guy back. His knife does not fit in um, really well. And mine, like many others, is a floppy mess. I, I don't understand. I don't know why he's so floppy considering he has the same buck as the ninjas. And they're not floppy. He is. They're not. Plus, he didn't come with this Uzi. So I gave him Punisher's Uzi. And he looks much better. Um, I would almost put him higher if I would have, if it would have came in it with an Uzi, but it didn't. And the flappiness really just kind of detracted from the overall fun with this figure. Cause mine is just, it's extremely floppy guys. And it's hard to get certain poses, um, with it being so floppy, but five is not bad, but this is snake eyes. He should have been number one. Hopefully we release it down the line where it's not such a floppy mess. Cause I would definitely pick it up. Number Four, the travesty that should have been uh, Snake Eyes. These guys, I gave, got them higher than um, uh, Snake Eyes just because the Red Ninjas actually are not floppy. And they came with so many weapons. I mean, so many weapons. These were just really fun. And the, 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 the design of them, um, besides the little, when you have them looking up, because you see that neck looking all weird. But besides that, it looks they look really, really freaking good. I love the Cobra image on there. I wish we could have got the image that's on that cover instead of the Cobra. But they're fun. I got three of them. And no, I did not do the bad thing and get a whole bunch at the store and cut other people out. I got one at the store. And then I ordered two of them off of uh, offline off of Big Bad Toy Store. So I'm not a hater. So number uh, four is the Red Ninjas. For number three, it is the Baroness. I had two panic attacks trying to get figures online this year or trying to find figures this year. Uh, the number one was definitely the SEC uh, X-Men uh, Hell Hellf Hellfire Club release because I like Emma Frost a lot. And the other one was this one, um, Baroness, because I've always liked Baroness as a, as a, as a kid. Um, I thought she was hot, and um, this figure looks amazing. I love the glasses. I love the look. I love the all black, and I'm sure they're going to release her down the line, but I saw images from the video game. She has, like, purple hair at the back that looked r ridiculous, so I do not trust that re-release, so I'm glad I got this one. The bike could have gone somewhere else. I did like the helmet so much I put it on um, Night Thrasher, and he's like a Cobra Goon now, so I do like this little three, uh, two pack. Um, number three is definitely the Baroness because I'm sorry, but she is just a bad bitch. Okay. So you got to pick her up. Didn't show the box. So I'm showing the box art. There we go. I went back and forth with number two for a very long time and it ended up being Deathstroke. I said Deathstroke. Deathstroke. <laughs> Deathstroke. Um, ended up being Deathstroke. Um, he was always fun as a kid. And I had to keep bearing this in the background because that's his boo. You know, um, this was the first figure I saw images of. And I said, oh, my God, I've got to collect this line. Uh, this was the one that did it. This single image of seeing Deathstroke with his briefcase open, even though this is flipped around the wrong way, what sold me on the uh, Hasbro G.I. Joe line. I loved, you know, Cobra as a kid and G.I. Joe, but... I cannot believe how well of a job they did. And he's fantastic. You know, one of the, my favorite year, uh, figures this year. And there's his box art. The box art was just as amazing. That is just perfect. Let's get down to number one. Number one probably came to no surprise to anybody. Or maybe it did. Um, the G.I. Joe uh, Trooper. Okay. Uh, these were hard to find. Um, I got lucky. I started off with two, found another one. I could have had four, but instead I sent a link to my friends in, in the Chi-Town uh, Toy Hunters group and let them know where the fourth one was because uh, I could not pull the trigger and not and let someone else miss out. I wanted four, but luckily they bring these they bring these back out, but they won't have the goggles 
and they won't have the armbands. But number one, for sure, for me, by far the most fun figure uh, of this whole line is a Stormtrooper. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace and chicken grease.